About a year ago, so on the 1st of January of 2020, I started investing my money in the stock market. And today I wanted to go back to this year with you guys and show you what I earned exactly, what I learned and give you my feedback on it. But hey, if you're new here, my name's Alexi and here on this channel, I speak about money, investing and personal finance and investing is a big part of this channel. So that's why I'm making this video today. So let's start with the thing that you're probably the most interested in. How much did I manage to make with my first year of investing? Okay. Okay, let me go through the app and show you exactly how much I made. So as you can see on the screen right here, I managed to make a little bit over $3,000 in my first year of investing. Now, am I happy with all these results? Yes, of course, because all these $3,000, I didn't have them before, and I just used my existing money to generate additional income, additional money, so yes, of course, I'm really happy about it. Now, did I make the right decisions every time? Of course not, and actually, really far from that, I made a lot of mistakes, and I'm gonna speak about it in just a second and explain you guys everything that I made that didn't make really a lot of sense, or things that I wish that I changed so that I would have made like, a lot more money than what I actually made. But I'm gonna show you a little bit later in this video that I could have actually made like four or five times the amount that I actually earn right now if I were a little bit more confident in what I was doing and if I was more educated on the subject. Because look at that, this is the ETF that's called VUSA that's following the S&P 500 index fund. So pretty much it's following the top 500 companies of the USA, so it's a pretty good representation of what the market overall is doing. And you can see that over the last year, it was an amazing roller coaster going down and up and down and up all the time with the pandemic and everything that happened. And if you don't know, actually I started investing right here right before the big hit of the pandemic. So yeah, that's what happened to me. So you can imagine that over the first months in which I invested, I got really confused. I got really unsure about what I was doing because in just one month, my portfolio value went down 33% because of the pandemic. Yeah, I just thought I was the worst investor in the world, losing 33% with really safe investments on my first month and Maybe not, maybe actually it's not the case. So we can say that I had a pretty bad timing and you'll be pretty right. But on the other hand, it was a great time for having great opportunities in the market because everything was in sale pretty much. 33% on every stock, go and buy it right now. But here's the mistake that I probably regret the most with this first year of investing. And that's that I didn't take enough advantage of the pandemic to make money. And that's why I only made $3,000 this year because as I said before, I could have made so much more money with this pandemic. So as you can see in my portfolio, I have about $50,000 invested in just my first year of investing, which is a lot of money. But if you look closely to the graph, you can actually see that most of the money was invested in the last two months of this year. And as I said before, as a new investor, I was really unsure about what I was doing. I was not really understanding every single concept that was in there. And yeah, that pretty much made me do the mistake that I regret the most. Now imagine that I invested this $50,000 at the bottom of the market. Yes, I could have made bank right here. But of course, if you are a new investor and the first thing that happened to your portfolio is that you lose 33% of your value pretty much, you don't wanna put all your money at once into something that you don't know. Because when you're new to investing, you don't wanna take a lot of risk, right? You don't want to put all your money at once Bam, there we go, and we're gonna see in the future what it does. I got so scared because of this crash that I didn't invest my money at the right time, and I wanted to catch up over the last two months, that's why I invested so much at the end. But yeah, if you do the math, I could have made five to six times more money by investing on the lows in March. So what's important to take away from this video and my experience is that you need to know what you're doing when you go and start investing. You can start by using a demo account, use fake money so that you get used to it and you know what you're doing a little bit more because I started investing like this. I didn't have any like good understanding and good knowledge about what I was doing, which is my biggest regret this year. And of course, if you're more educated, you'll be more confident in what you're doing and that's a great way for you to make great investments. Okay, so now something really interesting about my portfolio, if you look closely at it, is that I'm in profit since only two months. Because what happened pretty much is that since I invested right before the pandemic hit, I was down 33% and I got scared. I didn't invest when I should have invested, which is a rule that you need to know when people are scared 
it's probably time for you to invest. And then I went really slowly because I was scared that it could happen again. But then guess what? It didn't happen and the market just went up for eight, 10 months maybe. And at the end, I understood after these 10 months that I was actually missing out on gains here. That's why I invested most of my money at the end of 2020. And that's actually since this time that I'm actually in profit. So, okay, I made $3,000 with $50,000 invested, which is not that much if you think about it. It's like 6% pretty much. But what's cool about this is that I made $3,000 in two months. So this makes me really excited about 2021. I really want to see what's gonna happen in the next year with all this thing that's gonna go away. New year, new life, as you probably heard it every time you go onto the internet. <laughs> So the takeaway from this is that don't be discouraged because you're not in profit yet. That can happen, but if you have a really long-term view on your investments and on everything that you're doing, which is my case here, you can see that over time, it's always great to invest into the market. Things can switch up at any time and you can then make some money even if you were unlucky at first. But hey, you may be wondering which companies did I invest in 2020? So right now, I'm gonna go through my portfolio and show you every single investment that I made and how much I made or lose on them. Okay, so let's start with my first investment, which actually is my smallest one, and this is Google. I have about $700 invested into it. You can see that I'm up 5.8%, so lower than the overall portfolio. I made 38 bucks, very nice. And yeah, I believe everybody know what Google is and why it's a good investment. Well, because it's pretty much a monopoly, which also makes it a bad investment because then they'll have some restrictions and I'm pretty sure that all the time Google will stop growing as fast as it is right now. But overall, great investment. I made some profit on it. I have 0.4 shares, so you can see it's really not that big of an investment, $700 is not that big for my portfolio. And let's go to the next one. Next on the list, and it's Amazon. Amazon, one way bigger investment. I have about $3,900 into it. I'm up 4.7%, which is also lower than the overall portfolio. And you can see that with it, I made way more than with Google. I made $176 with it, which is great. Not really big, but I started investing in Amazon pretty late this year. You can see that I started actually investing into Amazon when the price was between $3,000 and $3,100, which is pretty late in the year, but I still made some money with it. If you don't know Amazon, well, I don't know what you're doing in your life. It's pretty much also a monopoly like Google, but also one great company when it comes to like expansion and growth. Next on the list, also one pretty big investment, and this is Apple. Pretty big investment, I have about 23 shares in it, which is a little bit more than $3,000, so pretty good, but I made way more with them. I made more than 16%, which is over $420. So. This investment was pretty great. You can see that I invested right at the good time when they were pretty much in the lows from the 100 to $115 range. And yeah, I believe Apple over the long term is a great company to own. I, I, I mean, if you don't know the companies in which I invest in, I don't know what you're doing on the internet, so I'm not gonna go through what Apple is doing and let's go to the next one. Next, and that's a pretty interesting one, you can see it's AT&T, so the telecommunication stock that most of you guys from the US probably know. And you can see that it's a pretty interesting one for me. I'm up 0.77%, which is nothing, and that's about $20. I have about $2,700 into this stock, but what happened with it is that you can see that if I go onto the max graph here, we're pretty much at an all time low pretty much right now. And over the last year, they didn't recover at all since the pandemic started. So what I did is that I bought AT&T a lot when the price was below $26. And right now my average price on it is about $28.50 which is really low actually, and that's why I'm holding onto this share even though it's not performing well at the moment. Something to note though, is that they pay a dividend and that's actually a pretty high one, 7.23% at the moment, which is really, really high for a stock to pay. But since they can manage to still pay it right now, I'm gonna hold on to this stock. And maybe in the future, the stock price will go back up again and I'm gonna make a lot of money with this stock since I have about more than $2,500 invested into it. Now, one of my biggest losers is here and you can see here, it's Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat is pretty much the riskiest stock in which I invested a lot of money. And you can see actually that I have a lot of money invested into it. About $6,250 invested into Beyond Meat 
And yeah, I'm down 5.43%, which is $359. So that hurts, right? That hurts to lose some money, but actually I didn't lose it since I didn't sell it yet. I'm planning on the hold Beyond Meat for the really long term. I really believe that this company over the long term, again, don't forget this term, that they're gonna do amazing, they're gonna grow into something really big because they pretty much are the future of uh, the food industry. They are doing some vegan slash plant-based burgers and all sorts of food, which I believe will grow amazing in the future. So right now I'm gonna hold these 50 shares of Beyond Meat and sell them in 20 years so that I know that this company will grow amazing in the future. That's a really speculative stock. I don't recommend you guys invest into it as much as I'm doing right now. But yeah, I love this stock and I'm going to hold it for the long term. Now, next on the stock, and this is a big one, Etsy up 47% year to year. This is more than $500 made on this stock. If you don't know Etsy, well, it's pretty much a marketplace in which people can meet, sell things online, buy stuff online. And yeah, I believe that this company right now is great. I mean, it's doing amazing for me. I have about $1,600 invested into it and I'm up $500 on it. So that's... That's really big, that's big for me. Next on the list, also a huge one. You can see here, EXP World Holdings. That's one of the best performing stocks that I have, which is up almost 50%, which is $458 at the moment. You can see though that over the last week, I lost about 20% on the stock. So I was up like almost 100% on the stock when it was at its all time highs. And what they do pretty much is that they provide businesses a way for them to operate remotely, which is why this stock performed really well this year. You can see that year over year, this stock is up almost 500%. And I went into it with it was at around $44, which was great. And right now it's at $63. So I could sell it right now because the pandemic is pretty much going to an end. But since we never know what's gonna happen, I'm still gonna hold it for a few months at least. And then we're gonna see what happened with this talk, but I'm really happy with it. Next on the list, you guys all know it, it's Facebook. I'm up not even $20 on it, which is nothing for such a stock. So I'm up 1.18%, really not that much, but you can see that over the long term, this stock performs amazing. And I'm gonna hold it for long term. And long term for me means like 20 to 25 years, which is really long. And I'm sure that with it, I'm gonna be able to make some bank. I have about $1,600 into it, which is six shares. And yeah, I'm just gonna hold this company for the long term and see what happens with it. Next on the list, one of the actual first stock that I bought onto my portfolio, which is Microsoft. Microsoft up 7.7%, which is $113, not that much. But as you can probably tell, Microsoft is an amazing growing company that's going to grow amazing in the future with all the diversification that they have, all the big places that they have in the market at the moment with like technologies, gaming consoles, PC parts, all of this is in my opinion, one of the greatest holdings you can have for the long term again. Or remember that all these companies, except maybe Etsy and uh, EXP World Holdings are companies that I wanna hold over the really long term and make some great money with it. Next on the list, one stock that performed amazing this year, it's Netflix. Of course, if you are stuck at home, Netflix is your best friend. And I made almost 13%, which is $246. As you can tell, I also invested into Netflix pretty late in the year when the stock price was around $470 almost. And yeah, right now I'm up quite a bit and yeah, I'm gonna hold them for the really, really long term like all the other companies that I have. Next, a really interesting one and it's Realty Income. I spoke about this stock already on the channel a few times before, but what they do pretty much is that it's a REIT, a real estate investment trust. They invest into properties and I invest into their companies. They make money by renting the places and in their cases, it's actually pretty big. They have Walmart, they have CVS Pharmacy in them, they own some amazing properties that are at the moment being used by huge companies. So the risk of them going bankrupt or anything is really low. And you can see that actually with the pandemic, they've been hit so hard. They lost a lot and a lot of money when it comes to the stock price. And right now it's still recovering to where it was before. If you look at the max graph here, you can see that they were trading at $80 at the whole time high and I bought at $60. So I believe there is a lot of money to be made on realty income and also something really interesting. They pay a pretty high dividend of, I believe is 4.4%, 4.7%, so even bigger than I thought. But what's interesting is that they pay this dividend monthly. So I make monthly money with this holding and I actually have about 
$3,850 into the stock, which as you can tell, makes some great money each month. So yeah, great investment, I'm really happy about it. Now, next on the list, there is store capital. It's also a REIT, so a real estate investment trust. They do pretty much the same thing as realty income, but they've been hit even harder than realty income because they own small businesses. And small businesses, the problem with them, you probably know it already, is that with the pandemic, they've been hit super, super hard. And you can tell that they went from about $40 to $15. They lost more than half of their value in just a few weeks pretty much. So I invested into them when they were around not even $30 and right now they are at $34. I made 22% on them, which is pretty great and I believe they will still grow in the future so I'm gonna hold them long term. I made about $235 with them. Great investment, gonna hold it long term. And now last but definitely not least, my biggest investment which is in the VUSA ETF. As I said before, it's an ETF that follows the S&P 500 which is in my opinion, one of the best indexes to invest in for the long term. They made me $1,079 in just a really short period of time. You can tell that I'm up only 5% and this 5% for me is $1,079. That's an amazing amount and you can see that if I invested at the lows, which was at about $38, let's say, I could have made so much money. That's my biggest regret as you heard it probably before. And yeah, I have $22,000 into this ETF. That's 317 shares, so a lot of money into it. 5% is $1,000. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait. If you look at the long term, this graph is amazing. I'm just gonna wait for next year and like in 20 years. I don't even know how much money this is gonna be, but that's an amazing investment to have over the long term. So I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna make some bank again, and yeah, I'm really happy about it. But hey, if you see all this and you're like, wow, I should probably invest myself, you are right, and actually go and watch this video right here that will explain you everything there is to know about how to start investing. And also go and check out this video right here in which I explain how I managed to invest $50,000 in my first year at 20 years old. You don't want to miss this video also. And yeah, of course, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.